Third prescription is believe. Believe what? Three things. Believe that God truly loves you, no matter what has happened and no matter what you've done. 90% of Christians don't believe this simple truth. No one can object to this from the Bible. 1 John says, God is love. But we don't believe it. This is what makes us lose peace. Say a day goes by and you don't pray, and you are a servant in the church. You find yourself so grieved. You say, how can I possibly not pray? Okay, yes, it's wrong that you don't pray, but did God change with regards to you? No, He still loves you. Or say a huge problem has come upon you. Does this mean God stopped loving you? No. If you believe this, one simple idea, really believe it, you will regain your peace easily because this idea that God loves you is a fact. There is a difference between facts and feelings. Most feelings are not true. Have you ever felt that you would die from pain, but you didn't? It wasn't the truth. It was a feeling. Have you ever felt that someone didn't like you, but later you found out that he does like you? Most feelings do not represent truth. It is the same reg with regarding to God's love. You may feel that God is upset with you. That's your feeling. But the truth is that He still loves you. You don't have to be beautiful for Him to love you. You don't have to be perfect for Him to accept you. Believe that He forgives you. Guilt takes away your peace. You've made many mistakes. Believe me, He forgives you. He forgives you, but He tells you to try harder. In John 8, He says, Has no one condemned you? Neither do I condemn you. Go and sin no more. Do you mean you're not angry with me, Lord? No. You're not disgusted at me? No. You're not rejecting me? No. You love me? Yes. Now what? Try not to sin again. That's all? That's all. Believe that everything is for the good. Again, I'm not saying anything outlandish or complex. These are simple truths, but we don't believe them enough. These ideas are not occupying our minds and hearts enough. We are not taking our fill of them enough. Everything is for good. If your car breaks down, good. If your kids fall down, good. If the doctor made a mistake, good. If someone failed, good. If the country has troubles, good. If the country gets fixed, good. All things are for good. Believe that all things work together for good. Whatever happens in America or Canada or Egypt or India is for good. God only does good. If things came late, it is for good. If things happen at their time, it is for good. If someone is sick and cannot get better, it is for good too. If someone went to heaven, it is for good. Believe this so you have peace. We've seen so many sick or people who were cheated having peace and other people with an easy life lacking peace. It is not related to the circumstances.